In our last videos we showed how to set up this kitchen project. In this video we would like to show you how to use quick design libraries to change the design and output manufacturing documents. Let's see how to quickly play with design options using quick design materials. Let's go back into the 2D window. Let's apply a quick design manufacturing method to all our cabinets. To do this, I'm just going to select all the different cabinets by pressing the control key and clicking on my different cabinets. When all our cabinets are selected, I'm going to go to the manufacturing methods button up here, click it and in the dialog box choose quick design method. Clicking OK and applying this method to all the cabinets selected, our cabinets now have been redesigned using the quick design method which will take away all the edging and we are now using only quick design materials. Now to change my design, for instance to change my facade panels, I can just click on the quick design panels materials, click on the facade material, click on browse and click on a new type of paneling, apply this texture now to my model and all my facades are updated. This is allowing me to quickly play with different design options. Please note however that the quick design panels materials library will vary a bit whether you're using the quick design light libraries which is the case here or the quick design pro libraries the pro libraries contain more materials and will give you a bit more flexibility in tweaking your design while we have the panels materials uh, library dialog box open let's change the carcass material to something which is with a wooden texture. So let's just take carpus material, let's take a manufactured panel and let's take an egger panel and let's change the carcass material to something by texture here. We can also change the worktop if you remember in our last videos where the worktop was actually set to a generic 0380 material here. Let's change its color to black and let's give it a brightness of 100%. Now when I click and apply my new library configurations we can see that our kitchen has been updated. We can enhance our presentation by clicking the add shadows button on the quick design toolbar up here. Shadows will vary according to the light sources that you have put into your drawing. To add or take away or adjust light sources just click on the light button up here. Let's add a new light source and let's move this light source and let's move it up a bit. Make it a bit dimmer Let's do the same for the other light source, make it a bit dimmer. And let's also change the position of our general lighting and give it a, a vertical angle so that it more from above. Our project is looking good and we can present this to our client. And if you have the full version, you can see the actual price of the project calculated in the bottom right hand corner of the screen over here. Let's see now how to get the cutting lists and plans to build our project. Let's go back to the 2D window by pressing the spacebar. Now with all the cabinets still selected, let's add some edging to the cabinets. To do this, let's click on the edging styles button up here. And let's choose one of the predefined edging style here. Let's put on some edging with specific edging on the carcass and a different edging on the facade. Just, just choose this style here and apply it to all our cabinets. We can see now that the edging has appeared and the edging has a specific color so that we can see which edges of our panels are actually edged. If I open the doors and drawers, we can see that the doors and drawers are edged with a red material whereas the carcass material is edged with the blue material which shows that there are two different types of edging. We didn't need to show the edging for the client but now for manufacturing we need to show the edging. We can now also add hardware and assembly details to our project. Let's go back to the 2D window by pressing the space bar. Now with the cabinet still selected I'm going to click the fittings links button up here. I'm going to choose a manufacturing method which assembles our panels with Rafix and screws and let's apply this method to our cabinets. 
In project mode, I can't see the hardware. So to see the hardware and the assembly details, let's open a base cabinet in cabinet edit mode. To see the hardware details, let's open the cabinet in 3D. And let's have a look at it in wireframe. Now we can see all the drillings of the hardware that's assembling our panels and our drawers. If you have the full version of Polyboard, you can now produce the detailed cutting lists and plans. We can see these on clicking on our preview button here. Let's have a look at the different pages of our workshop document. We have here the different views of our project. We can add dimensions if necessary. And here we have the detailed cutting lists of all the different panels, as well as the quantities lists for edging and hardware, and a detailed plans of each cabinet and each part. Polyboard is also producing at the same time all the different files necessary to run your CNC machine. Here we have the list of all the different CNC machines supported by Polyboard software. This ends our series of videos on using Polyboard and Quick Design. We hope that you have found them interesting and useful. For more details on using Polyboard and Quick Design, please read the Quick Design manual that is in your Quick Design Libraries folder and look at the other videos and resources on our website. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.